All right, we come down to the boat show. I'm here with uh, Tom Casey. Uh, just going to have a little chat about um, why you're here. Why are you here, Tom? What's uh, attracted you to this uh, the show? Well, I I uh, got my boat in the Caribbean. Okay. And I'm here for about a week or so, so I thought I'd stop in and pick up some things that I need. Right, well, what boat have you got out there? I've got a 35 foot. Uh, Beneteau first. Oh, very nice, very nice. And, and do you, are you permanently moored there, or do you sail around? Or well, yeah, no, we sail the Caribbean. But oh, I usually excellent. sail there for six months, and then I'm back in London for the other six. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Um, and what kind of things um, do you do? Is it just your family are on board, or you do just my lady and I? Ah, oh, superb. Okay. And um, uh, could you tell us anything about it? What, what do you get up to on board? Just in the day in the life of on board a ship. Day we're, <laughs> we're talking nautical talk here well it's a very relaxed life I'm, re I'm retired so i don't have any schedules to keep no trains to catch right right and uh when the weather's good we we sail we usually hop from island to island okay uh we en we enjoy the food we enjoy the company the people uh, oh, sounds the a great life. we yeah. do a little visiting inland on the islands right right uh, last year we crossed from uh cape verde Oh, right, uh, yeah. To Antigua. That's a nice spot there, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice yeah. spot. Do you do any fishing at all on board? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we usually throw a line out and troll. Right, right. Yeah. I'm not a very good fisherman. Right, right. Well, what kind of things would you catch if you were well, uh, out on those seas? Dorado tuna. Right, uh, right. Fish that are usually too big for me to get in, and I wind up losing them, but it's fun. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, and we're doing a little piece uh, later on in this show about storms. Have you ever been in any ma enormous storms in any way? Or? No enormous storms, no. no. But, uh, any close shaves with death on board the ship? No. I mean, we have some high seas, but uh, nothing that we couldn't handle. Right, right. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm a very conservative sailor. Right, so, right. You, you... Uh, I've, I've watched the weather before I go out. I've got weather facts on board. Right. And uh, if there's any any risk involved, I just wait. You're out of there, or you wait. I wait. You wait, yeah, until it's cleared. Uh, another little piece. Um, we, we did uh, last show a piece about uh, pirates of the modern day. There are still pirates out there, aren't there? There's a lot of them what, 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 in the what, Caribbean. They don't obviously go around in galleons and the Jolly Roger anymore. What, what, what's their method these days? Well, to give you an example, recently there was uh, in inside of uh, St. Lucia in Rodney Bay. Right. Uh, two guys came up in a rowboat and went aboard somebody's boat. Really? Uh, fortunately, the guy came up with a spray can of uh, oven off. Oven off? Oven off. Oh, which oh. is the best protective thing you can use. Right, right. right. Did they, were they armed <laughs> with weaponry? Or? Uh, I don't think it was the guys were necessarily armed. They were there trying to break into his boat and steal right. things. Right, right. And uh, he gave one of them a good spray. Oh, excellent. Well, they caught? S scared the hell out of you. They caught him, yeah. They, right. uh, they caught the guy he sprayed because oh. he had to jump overboard. Did, oh, <laughs> did, right. He swam. Um, sharks? Any sharks out there? Mm, they're out there, but they don't yeah. bother people. Right, right. Okay. Well, thanks, Tom. Thank good. you very much. Hope you enjoy the show. Yes. Uh, nice talking to you. Thank you very good. much. Cheers. Cheers.